Welcome to the February the 18th, 1997 taping of It Happened in Grand Prairie. We continue to bring you the history of our city and for some of the important people that helped make a contribution to that history and the documentation of it. We are very pleased to bring you history tape number 298, which is our continuation of celebration of Black History Month here in Grand Prairie, Texas. And we're very excited today. We have three very special gentlemen from the Dalworth area and from the city of Grand Prairie that are going to be bringing us some wonderful information about a very special Grand Prairie significant landmark that's located here in Grand Prairie and what's happening to it and what is proposed to happen to it. And we're just so pleased, first of all, to bring you from the Livestone Masonic Lodge, the Black Lodge that we have here in Grand Prairie, Texas, and it's Lodge number 152. First of all, may we introduce to you and the viewing audience the Worshipful Master, Mr. Horace Choice. Welcome to the set. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. We're just so glad to have you with us. You've just been working so hard, and now we have you in the spotlight, and we're going to find out a lot about this wonderful project that you have going. Okay. Next, we have uh, the senior warden of this wonderful lodge, Mr. James Newman. And James, welcome to the set. Thank you. And finally, on the dais today, we have His Majesty, <laughs> Mr. Sam Brown, a former uh, worshipful master, been everything in the lodge, been everything uh, in the church in Dalworth, has been on every clean-up, fix-up, paint-up bureau thing that we've ever had in uh, Grand Prairie, and also as a stem winder with the senior citizens and the nutrition center and all of this good stuff. Mr. Sam Brown, welcome to this set. Thank you. We're just glad you're here with us. Pleased to be present. All right. <laughs> well, while we're uh, getting set for all of this, let's first of all talk to our worshipful master now. Uh, Mr. Choice, You've been worshipful master of this lodge how long? Oh, going on a year, not a year yet. Not going on about a year. Mm -hmm. All right. And would you let those in our viewing audience know where it's located uh, in Dalworth? It's um, 18 in Bullmount, on the corner. Okay, that's southwest. Southwest. Southwest, 18th, 18th in Beaumont. Beaumont Street that's in right. Dalworth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I know that um, it has a Grand Prairie significant landmark. I believe that's number 32. Number 32, you're right. Number 32. We have to keep up with all these numbers because your lodge number is 152. Yes, ma'am. And um, uh, several years ago, Grand Prairie documented um, a lot of the information on your lodge and gave it that wonderful number. And you're listed at the library and all the other historic places. But I believe you have a, a, a new quest now. What have y'all been doing lately about your lodge? Well, at the specific time, we are trying to get a um, historical marker. We've already, Grand Prairie um, Historical Committee has already approved it, and it's, and it's gone to the county, and mm -hmm. we're just waiting on them to mm -hmm. approve it, and then they'll go to Austin. Okay. In other words, you've been through all the steps. You've been through the... Grand Prairie Historical Commission, and now it's at the Dallas County yes, Historical Commission, and then it goes on to Austin to the Texas Historical Commission, right? Yes, ma'am. And that is the state marker you're applying for. Yes, ma'am, it is. Okay. Um, how long has the lodge been in existence? About how many years? Well, I think 94, if I'm um, right. I think it's 94. All right. 94 years. 94 years. Okay. Uh, Let's, let's get down to um, talk with James Newman just a minute. James, as the uh, senior warden uh, with this, are you real excited about looking for a historical state marker and maybe the renovation of this building? Yes, I am. Uh, the large does play and has played an important part in the community of Grand Prairie, uh, particularly in the Dalworth area. I think twice it was used as a school building and to preserve that building and, and that history there would be very important to us and to the generation to come to know that the building had served a purpose there, not only as a large and for the, the herons, the stars, and also as a school building. So yes. I am excited about seeing that done. Oh, yes. And what is your, what is your assignment as a senior warden? 
Are you responsible for seeing that you hold the meetings, or what does the senior warden do? Senior warden assists the worship master in opening and closing the lodge. Uh -huh. He also pays the bills, and he functions in the absence of the worship master. Oh, I see. Well, you have a very responsible job then. Yes, it is. Yes, and how long have you been in Grand Prairie, James? Uh, since 1945. 1945? Yes. What brought you to Grand Prairie, Texas? Um, I'm <laughs> I was a child. My mother and her father were here at the time and All that's right. why we came because he was here All right. and uh, he was um, working out in the country in the rural area there for uh, Mr. Allen and uh, my mother came and we lived out there for T.H. Osball. Oh yes, the yes, Osball family, yes. Yes, yes. Uh -huh, yes. yes, yes. Uh -huh. we worked for him and later on I worked for B.A. Stufflebean. Yes, yes. Yes, and then in uh, 1949, I went to work for R.B. Clark. Yes, at the started, store. Started cutting meat. Yes. And I did that for a number of mm -hmm. years. Mr. Clark was wonderful for your community. Oh, yes, yes. Wasn't he, he a beloved a, man? He made a, quite a contribution out there, and uh, particularly during the time we were selling poll tax, and he always got debitized to sell poll tax. Yes. Back then, you had a limit of time when you could register to vote and pay that dollar and 75 cents for poll tax. Yes. So he made sure that each year he would be debitized so he could sell poll tax. Yes. And so you could vote. Yes. And vote. Yes. That's wonderful. Did you go to school at Dalworth? No, I did not. Yeah, okay. No. That's I, all right. No. Well, we're going to let you rest a minute and let's get down here to Mr. Sam. Mr. Sam, um, you're such a landmark uh, in the Dalworth community. How long have you lived in the Dalworth community? Let's see. I got near about too far for me to go back. Uh, I moved here when? In 19 and what? I got to knock on wood. All right. <laughs> Get it wicked. Uh, Was see. it before the war or during the war? No, just before the war broke out. I think All it was right. 32, right. somewhere now. All right. Somewhere, no, in the 30s, late 30s. Late 30s. How about, mm -hmm. about 38? That sounds that like That sounds pretty good. I'd work right? out all right. All right. Yeah, right. And, uh, uh, so I hope build that plant down there. It was war access. Yes, uh, yes. I hope build that. Yes. Oh, yeah. that is great. That's before the war started. You know, yes. Man. All right. Um, do you have a family? I helped build. I helped build uh, Indian Hills down here. You know, oh. Indian Hills. Oh, right you did. Here. Oh, yeah. It wasn't nothing there when I <laughs> just a few houses. That's kind of a cotton patch. Right. 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 That's yeah. what it was. Do you, you have a family, Mr. Sam? Oh, yes. Do you have yeah. any any uh, kids that uh, attend the lodge? I got yes. I got I got my my, my baby boy. All right. Uh, he's uh, what, what is he now? He's a senior deacon. Senior deacon, yes. Have a senior deacon. Give mm -hmm. us his name. Elvis. All right. Elvis Brown. Well, mm -hmm. isn't that good that you have another generation that's followed you? Well, my oldest son is too, but he don't live here no more. He's in Washington, D.C. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, you send him up there to take care of all right. the government yeah, yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. yes. Right, yeah. All right. Yeah, we move around quite a bit. Uh, and how long have you been a member of that lodge, Mr. Sam? <laughs> Ever since you came to Grand Prairie? Right, 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 right. I joined under old Jordan. Under, right. under most Jordan. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was, he was the worshipful and, master right, then. Right, mm -hmm. and he wasn't even living in town then. He was living on, out on the line. Yes. At that time. Yes. See, wasn't nothing much in, in you know here now in where we are now. Yes. Wasn't nothing, just a few houses that. Yes. On the, see, I, I lived. I moved when I moved here. I moved on Sherman Street. Vance, on them apartments and yes, on Sherman uh -huh. Street. And that's about the only houses. Yes. <laughs> that's way back. Here. Yes. I'd knock on wood to get myself. Knock on wood to get it. that one. Pull yeah, that, that one up, don't we? <laughs> right. Okay. And right. uh, do you remember any of the other beginning members uh, that were there at the lodge when you came oh, in? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, we see we got Mo Judd, Will Shelton, Jesse Spears. Was David Daniels there by then? Yeah, but he was, he was here, but he, 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 he didn't belong to the lodge at that time. I see. But he, John, okay. me and him, John, come in a lot long. I may be. Uh, maybe I might have come in six, eight months a year ahead of him, but All right. we come along together. Okay. And, uh, and uh, don't you think that's been a meaningful group that's met in Dalworth all of these years, the, the men that have really taken leadership? I, I think so. I think so. Uh, if, if it had not happened, uh, there's no telling where. Wouldn't have been no Dalworth now, no yes. doubt. Well, do you remember when they moved the building from out near Lakeview uh, the hall, to this about? site? Talking about yes. the, the, the Masonic Hall, right. Yes. Right. Were you right. in on that movie? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you helped move. Oh, yes. I, I, was in, I was in on it. Yeah, we are, 
And see, we got part of our stuff out of, out of, out of Fort Worth uh -huh. and, and brought it here at the same time. We moved it from out on the line up here. All right. Mm -hmm. And the line was located out near Hardy Road and yeah. in that area. Right. I uh, near the old is. Antioch Cemetery. Right. Where is that now? Which right. is now called the American Memorial Cemetery, right. isn't right. it? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, Sam, how did, how did y'all haul that thing all in one piece? Uh, did you put it on a, a flatbed truck or what? I'm just trying to think, honey, just now, how did we do that? Uh, you probably like, uh, put it on a flatbed. Well, I hope, I hope. Uh, we, we, I think we or a wagon? brought it so much piece by piece, yeah. Uh, take off one side at a time, you know, took it down and lay it down on top of a wagon or truck yes. and then okay. hold it up. And when we got here, set it down there. When we got here, then we set up one side at a time, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yes. And, and so you got in on the moving and the putting it oh, back oh, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I yes, bet that right. was a wonderful mm -hmm. jigsaw puzzle, wasn't it? Oh, yes, it was, it was. And, and we didn't know what we was doing. And, you know, we we, we, we doing all, most of our, those who belong to the Lord doing it ourselves, you know. Because yes. we, we, we done a pretty good job. Did you move that in about 1957? No, oh, way before then. Way before, way before way then. Way before then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's way back down there. In the what, late 40s, I think, some of them. In the 40s, late 40s. Oh, well, that's good. Because um, I haven't read all of your documentation that you <laughs> sent to the state and everything, so that's oh, yeah. going to be exciting to find out about that. Um, well, uh, I do want to know about something else besides this marker. Okay. Uh, how about fixing that building up? What you going to do about that? Well, we try to... We applied for a grant, and we're hoping that we you know, will receive it. And we're working at that. Um, we're doing projects now. We um, selling uh, raffle tickets now to raise some money. Uh, we're yeah. not just sitting down waiting on it. So yes. we are, we're trying to mm -hmm. keep busy. And uh, one thing I want to say, uh, Miss Ruthie, I want to give uh, credit to Brother Brown and uh, Brother Spears because they was the foot. It was, a, it was his footsteps. Yes, uh -huh. they put that foundation down for yes, you. Yes, ma'am, and I, I thank God for that because they worked all day and had to come in in the evening and try to put that building back together. And I, you know, I appreciate that because it gave me a chance to learn some history. Yes. About uh, the lodge, and I, and like I say, I appreciate Brother Brown and all the older members because. Hadn't been for them, them guys worked uh, much harder than I'd have yes. in life, and then they had to come in in the evening and do work on that building. So We met another one of the young men that were helping you do the research and putting it on computer, and, and I believe his name is Larry McCarty. Oh, yes, Larry yes. McCarty, yes, yes, he's very, very astute man. That, that was a great help to put all of that on, on the computer and, and help you to document everything. Oh, yes. You yes, know, the was. state's very sticky about all the things that they require uh, before they will uh, grant you a, yes. a state marker. Mm -hmm. yes. And I think we got a good chance of getting it because we, we've got everything documented is what they wanted. Oh, good. That's great. And we got everything that they wanted. Well, are, are you going uh, to the Community Development Block Grant uh, meeting to see if they will uh, issue you a grant, or do you have some other foundation or someone that you're looking to? Well, well, we'll be at the meeting. You're going to be at that meeting. Uh -huh. I'll be at the meeting. Larry yes. McCarty will be there. Uh, Brother Newman, uh, he will be there. He's on the committee. Um, so we'll, we're working. Yes. Do you have any idea what it's going to cost to rehab the building? Uh, that's the point. I think it's forty-two thousand. Forty-two thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. That's the mm -hmm. uh, turnkey job. Mm -hmm. Well, if you um, if you got it rehabilitated, restored, uh, w I know that it's a two-story building. Uh, would you open any of that to the public since it is a private lodge? Uh, what are your plans along that line? We had uh, planned, uh, Larry had uh, offered to give uh, two computers uh, for the downstairs uh, for kids that are uh, in school uh, and taking computer, and there would be someone there to help them 
in oh. computers because oh that's you know. great you would open it up to a sort of a learning center there yes. mm -hmm. for boys and girls and then you could keep all of your lodge things on the second floor yes or, uh -huh. yes and make it private for you there mm -hmm. oh that sounds wonderful and um, how long do you think this would take if we can get if we can get that forty two thousand oh, dollars we can get the grant they I talked to the contractors and they said about about four months they'll be through with it and might mm -hmm. less than that. Yes. Um, and if we could, you know, we could open it up then, you know, we're gonna, mm -hmm. we're gonna have a dedication um, ceremony. That comes before anything, we have to do that. You have to do that? Or is that the dedication of the restoration or the dedication yes. of the marker? Well, I guess we were talking about doing uh, both of them at the same time. Oh, good. Oh, that and, would be great. Uh, well, tell us about what brought you to Grand Prairie, Texas, Horace. Well, my auntie, back in the 60s, my auntie stayed out here. And it was hard getting a job back then. Yes. And my auntie asked me, so well, come on out here. I said, I think we can get a job out here. And I, I've been out here ever since. All right. And I enjoyed it because it was quiet. And uh, cause I stayed in Dallas at that particular time. Yes. And I'm kind of glad I moved out here because it was real quiet. And I met my wife out here and we got married. Yes. So. Uh -huh. It's been a, been a pleasant. Well, you better uh, you better uh, tell us her name because if, if you don't, you're in real bad trouble when you go home. Well, her name is Janie Choice. Okay, that's and great. She's oh. the uh, ancient uh, weather matron of the Herons of Jericho. Oh, that is great. That mm -hmm. is wonderful. Yes. Uh, do they do they have a pretty good membership? And would they meet at this same building, or, or would they meet it somewhere? Oh, yes, else? they would meet at the same building. Oh, that's great. That then that way you share it with the, what we would call the women's auxiliary of your of your lodge. Mm -hmm. and, um, well, yes, yeah, so the hair and the stars. They would they meet there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two women's auxiliaries. You know, these are stars and the Jericho. Oh, you do. That's yeah. wonderful. And would both of them be allowed to use this building? Right. Yes. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh they have pay all the expenses. <laughs> oh, they do. Yeah. Well, so they have a right to meet there. So they, you know, it's. Yes. But it's real nice, though. I, I'm hoping and praying that. Uh, we get this done. This is one of my projects that I've been wanting to do ever since I've been in you the lodge. And uh, we finally got to that point where it looked like we're going to get it. Yes. Well, several years ago, the late Mr. David Daniels had told us that he was going to do the research on that and that. Uh, and he worked real hard at it, yes, but, yes. but I don't know where his papers are now. So when, whenever they uh, dispose of his personal effects, uh, maybe we'll find the, find the papers that, that David had done because he was extremely interested oh, in, yeah. in getting mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. uh, a state marker as well as he helped me tremendously <coughs> me. In, in being able to do the research just to give it a Grand Prairie Significant Landmark number 32. Mm -hmm. Well. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about the effects that this can have on the younger people. Uh, James, what do you think that this will do to the young uh, people that you all are associated with, and not only the schooling opportunity, but will you all be teaching them in uh, the ways of your the rights to your organization, or what? What is the plan? Yes, that's. Uh, uh to, to continue to grow and to continue to exist, we have to bring in younger members. Yes. And right now, we are growing and we are bringing in younger members. Thankful to those members who are recruiting on their jobs and we have some members that uh, attend the National Guard and they're recruiting themselves. So we're growing and we would certainly want to keep this in front of the people as much as we possibly can. There's some things we cannot do in public, but yes. as much as we possibly can, we yes. want the, the young people to know what we're doing, what we are about so we can continue to, to grow. Prince Hall has been around for years, hundreds, for a couple of hundred years at least. Yes. So we would like to see the lodge continue to grow. And we're 94 years old out there. We don't want to just stop now. We want to keep, keep, on, keep on growing. Uh, there isn't at this time any training program that we can have that, that actually go out and seek young people. Other than by word of mouth, like the brothers are coming in now, they go back on their jobs, they go back in a different organization they belong to and report yes. by, yes. So we will certainly hope that we can uh, keep on recruiting young people in. 
Yes, because this, this is a, a very fine learning experience for yes. them and it, and it gives them a sense of responsibility and a sense of belonging and that's very important mm -hmm. to the young folks these yes, days, yes. don't you think? Yes, and it does, uh, we are just uh, also uh, does as much charity work as we possibly can. We do help in the community when we can. Yes. And we're not just there to take from the community, we like to give back. Mm -hmm. And we like the motto we have that uh, the Lord make a good man a better man. Oh, so we think that it does help quite a bit to come into the Lodge. You don't just come in and sit down and talk and do nothing. We uh, expect you to have a high moral character and make some contribution to the community and your church and particularly uh, like to have you a member of a church when you come in. It's not required, but certainly would like to have you a member of a church. Well now, are all of you all a member of the same church or do you no. come from different churches? Different churches. Different oh, churches. I think yeah. that churches. we've got to talk about the different churches that you all meld together in this one group. Uh, all right, Horace, talk about your church. Well, I went to uh, McIntosh CME. All right. Uh, my pastor's name is James L. Smith. All right. And I've been, I belong since uh, 72. All right. Uh, do you, uh, I know you have a wife. Do you have any children? Got six. Got six. You want to name them? <laughs> You better name all six of them or you are in knock bad trouble. Wood. Yeah, we have to knock on wood, I tell you. Yeah. Well, the oldest one is Vasel, and the next one is um, Andre, Lavette, Rashawn. Um, no, how much? I'm going to get killed. Uh, Janice and Rondell. Uh huh. That, uh, uh, do any of them live here in Grand Prairie, Texas? Uh, yes, uh, four of them do. Four live in Grand Prairie, Texas. Yes, uh -huh. well, aren't you blessed to have your kids living in the city where you are? Oh, yeah. Yes, because they always come by and say, Dad, I need some gas money. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> You're yes. right there. Yes, that's good. You can't that's, get away from that. That's right. Do you have any grandchildren? Yes. Well, I'm I, not going to ask you to name them. Oh, man. Well, I got one. I can, she's, uh, she was at church Sunday with me. She, uh, oh, she, we call her Kiki. Uh-huh. And uh, she saw me when I walked in, and uh, my grandmother was already in there, and she saw me, and she come running across that. I said, you can't run in church. Well, Papa, I had to come sit by you. Yeah, you know? uh -huh. That smoothed it all over. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. yeah, but it's that, real. That took it's care of that, nice. then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Well, raising a family in Dalworth and taking on responsibility such as you have here, I think that is very, very commendable. Let's get back to James. James, we didn't ask you about your family. How about... Uh, tell us a little bit about them. I have three children, uh, Clyde James, uh, William Jonathan, and uh, Regina. Uh, Regina recently moved back. She was married to a, a gentleman that was in the Navy, and he retired in 95, and she moved back. So all the children are in the area now. Bill lives in Cedar Hill, and Regina's in Arlington, and Clyde's in Arlington. So everyone is close by, and I'm a widow. My wife passed away in 92, yeah. and um, I have 10 grandchildren. Oh, that's great. Yes. You would give us your wife's name so we could have that for the record. Rosemary Watson Newman. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, of, of your grandkids, uh, do you have any responsibility for any of them ever and about your church? No. The grandkids, I said, I raised three, and that's enough. That's enough. Yes, that's up for the parents to raise yes. those. Uh, yes. I'm a member of uh, Evening Chapel yes. African Methodist Episcopal Church. Uh -huh. My pastor is Reverend J.R. Mitchell, which is my brother, and uh, we are a member of the North Texas Conference. We uh, support Paul Quinn College as one of oh, our yes. learning institutions. Yeah. Uh, we, of course, uh, Bishop uh, Bryant is our bishop at this particular time. Uh, I've been a member of Evening Chapel since uh, about 46 or 47. My great uncle was a member and I followed him. So uh, my mother was Methodist, and I suspect that I messaged it because she was Methodist. If she had been some other denomination, perhaps I would have been also. But uh, I've been only in that one church. At the church I joined when I was about 12 years old, and we moved away from there. So I've only been in two churches in my life. That and is that was, splendid. Uh, That's a wonderful history. That, that is great. Mr. Sam? Yes, now, we've, we've, <laughs> we didn't even get your wife's name, and you're in bad trouble if you don't tell that. Well, she's knowing me as bad as like I am. Mostly. Her name is Cordis, yes. Cordis Brown. Yes. Uh, but she was the smartest when we married. That, 
Yes. I um, mean, what is it, 60 some years ago? Yes. Now and tell us about your church. My church is St. John Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Brother Denny we are, we are, we are, we are in St. John, Brother Daniel and myself is one of the co sponsors. See, when we first uh, started St. John, see, St. John come from out on the line. All right. But uh, when, we, when we started this less, the second time, Back, I forget what years it was now, back in 41 or somewhere back in there. Well, uh, Mr. Turner, Jerry Turner, yes, gave us $500 to buy a boom factory building, you know what's going on? Yes, here? yes. And we moved it over here on, uh, on Beaumont Street. Yes. And we stayed there for several years, and then we thought we needed to grow, <coughs> and we needed to grow, and we moved from that up on Harlem. Yeah. Not Harlem, no, it ain't Harlem. What is the street name? Spikes. 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 Upon Spikes. Yeah. And we built a bigger church up there, and yeah. we stayed there until here. Yeah. Till you got Four into this big ago. building. Yeah, and, and, and we built your, that. Your your pastor's Denny Davis. Now, right. Yes. Yeah, we 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 that's, that's our pastor now. Yes. And we growing leaps and bounds, but uh, if I could go back a little bit, I I could I could talk about when. You got one minute. Uh, Brother Daniel and I was ramlauders. Okay. Because he was, we was the one that even got the money from uh, what the man name I told down in the Mr. bank. Mr. Turner. Mr. Turner, yeah. Yes. Brother Daniel and I, we were the only two men uh -huh. back then. Yes. So right. now you're now you're by yourself by carrying myself. all of that history. Yeah. Well, you. we got a lot of more men, but but back by the history part. Yes. The hi I'm, in the I'm history all by part. myself, right. Well, we appreciate mm -hmm. you, Sam Brown. We know that you have a long history of contributions <laughs> and the fact that you're one of the ones that helped move the building from the line. Right. <coughs> and uh, I have some more history on, on the line in the school. Uh, and the, the school was number 72. And uh, I pulled that out of the archives in Dallas County, so I have some more to add to y'all's uh, research on that. So I want to thank y'all very much for being here today. and and letting us know about Lifestone Lodge number 152, the work that you're doing, the work that you hope to do if you can get this grant. And, uh, and to get a grant, sometimes you have to oh, raise yeah. matching funds, but we, mm -hmm. th we think we can get out and do some of that. Sam, you've always been out hustling money, so uh, <laughs> we know that you're not past doing that now, no. even though you're past uh, 65 a little bit. A whole lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Horace yeah. Choi. Yeah, and thank you very much. And James Newman, it's wonderful to have you. you on board it's and to get pleasure. some of the wonderful things you told us about Mr. Clark mm -hmm. and some of the other things mm -hmm. that's happened to you in the Dalworth community. Sam? Yes, huh? Yes, got to go across yeah, the we, way we, here. We old, corn, old corners together. Yes, we, yeah, we beautified everything in yeah. Grand Prairie, haven't that's we? That's right, that's right. Thank you all very much for being a part of this today. It's been real wonderful to have you all with us. And this is Ruthie Jackson reminding you that history is as we live and do. Thank you.